Takes us to our talk of the tape. Why some say this record rally isn't only justified, it has a lot more room to run. Barclays today raising its year-end target for the S&P to 5,300. Let's find out what Liz Young thinks. She's SoFi's head of investment strategy. Back with us at Post Nice. Good to see you. You too. All right. So they go to 53. And mm -hmm. dare I say, you become much more of a believer in this rally <laughs> as time has gone on. Is that fair to say? Uh, guilty as charged, I suppose. But here's the thing. I actually tweeted this last week. If you looked at the year-end price targets that were out there already for 2024, many of them were already had already been blown out. So I think we're, we should expect the targets to move up incrementally. Yes. Shouldn't be a huge surprise no, that we're going to start to see a, that. There's been a chase. Right. So are they going to be accurate? I mean, I've never been a huge believer in year-end price targets, especially in February. They're just shy of 5,100 now. Right. Can't possibly know what's going to happen by the end of this year. So... In this moment right now, and, and here's the thing, I'll say guilty as charged because there's, it's tough to argue, number one, that earnings haven't been stronger than most expected, or at least have come in and said, everything is still okay, we're able to maintain margins. Mm -hmm. There are, of course, some concerning ways that I think companies have been maintaining their margins because revenue hasn't necessarily picked up the slack, so they have cut labor. This is actually only the second year since 2009 with the highest amount of cuts in January. Last year was the largest since 2009. Okay. So that's not a great sign. Also, the cuts were more broad. They were across a lot of different sectors. So there are a lot of different companies out there. It's not just concentrated in tech, for example, to say, oh, we were bloated, we need to cut. So I do think that there's going to be a trend of companies cutting costs to maintain those margins. However, we're in a period where Inflation obviously has come down. Mm -hmm. Consumer confidence took it on the chin a little bit today, but that's just one month. It's been decently strong. And it looks like some of the manufacturing data isn't getting worse. Perhaps it's getting better, but it certainly isn't getting worse. So there is reason to perhaps be more comfortable at these valuations today. That does not mean, however, that I don't think things are going to deteriorate throughout the year. I no longer think that there has to be this huge crash or there has to be a big event. Mm -hmm. Of course, there always could be, but there doesn't necessarily have to be. It well, could be a slow a grind lower. You're, of not, course. you're not looking for it anymore. Uh, I, I never believe that the business cycle won't continue as it usually does. So there will be one at some point. I can well, confidently I mean, say gonna, there will be know, one. It's going to be another hurricane. and Right. I, rain's going to fall sometime. <laughs> but, I mean, seriously, <laughs> yeah. the, the idea that before you were – pretty, you know, set on the fact that there was going to be a recession. Mm -hmm. Now, I mean, and I'm talking about in the near future, mm -hmm. in the calendar 24, yeah. okay? Yeah. Now you don't well, see that? It, I still think it's possible in 24. Here's what it, where I think it, it changed for me. This late cycle, and it, we can have debates all day long about whether we're in early, mid, or late cycle. I feel confident that we will we're still when you're done in late this, cycle. Go ahead. Yeah, <laughs> I, still, I still feel confident that we're in late cycle. Okay. It okay. just so happens that it's lasting much longer, and that we've been able to be resilient in the face of it. The themes that have emerged that have kept kept the market afloat. So AI, obviously, the weight loss, the healthcare theme that's kept things above water. Without those, mm -hmm. I don't think we'd be here. And well, yes, there's been I mean, some fundamental know. backing in some of those stocks, but the economy has slowed down. So here's, here's where A the rub bit. is. Here's where the rub is. If the market is right and we deserve to be at 20.4 times forward earnings and mm -hmm. GDP growth needs to stay at this clip in order to maintain that or in order to maintain revenues to keep companies mm -hmm. operating margins at this fatter level, okay. then... Inflation, taking notes. Go ahead. Then going. inflation doesn't go down okay. the way that we need it to. Then the Fed won't cut rates as much as the market wants them to. And we end up in this okay. situation where valuations remain high and yields probably remain high. At some point, that game runs out, especially the yields game. Because forget the inverted yield curve even for a second. If yields stay high, both on the short end and the long end, you've got capital constriction that continues. And once you get up against a maturity wall, things like small caps or things like just the corporate debt maturity wall, mm -hmm. there's been this huge balloon of corporate debt issued this year alone. Mm -hmm. That's when it starts to take a bite. Now, okay. that could last a long time, right? That may not happen until 2025.